Welcome back to our channel. We've put together the details of 10 free to play NFT games you must check out. Hit the like button after watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 10, Splinterlands. Splinterlands is the most popular blockchain trading card game with thousands of users collecting cards and completely regularly all around the world. Splinterlands began as Steam Monsters, named after the blockchain on which it was initially established in mid-2018 and has gradually expanded in terms of active players, market transaction volume, and prizes paid back to players since then. It now uses the Hive blockchain to operate. Splinterlands is a player-funded, community-built blockchain powerhouse that continues to lead the pack in non-fungible tokens, blockchain gaming, and redefining what it means to be a collectible with each release. Every card is personally owned, which means that no one, not even the game's designers, can take them away from any player, and everyone may buy, sell, and trade them exactly like actual trading cards. Number 9. Voxies Foxies are 3D voxel buddies who live and play on the Ethereum blockchain. They are charming, loving, and collectible. There are only 10,000 Voxies in the world, and no two are alike. Each Voxie is charming, distinctive, and occasionally unusual due to a variety of random characteristics and amusing traits. You can fight in turn based tactical combat conflicts with your Voxies, explore a 3D voxel world, interact with NPCs to acquire equipment for your Voxies, and more. The forthcoming blockchain powered game will function similarly to existing tactical turn based RPG games like Final Fantasy Tactics. As NFTs, players will be able to control numerous characters. Depending on the game, the goal will change. The voxel token is at the heart of the initiative. The token will be earned by performing fights and other tasks. It will be able to be sold for profit outside for, of the game or used in-game for a variety of reasons, including purchasing goods, armor, and cosmetics. Number 8. Coin Hunt World Coin Hunt World is a geolocation game in which you must explore your surroundings in search of hidden coins. Play by yourself or in a group. Coin Hunt World is a free-to-play game created by the same people that created Bitterex. The game's model is similar to Pokemon Go, but it's a lot better. It's a lot more fun, there's a lot more to do, and it's a lot more community-based. You gather different colored keys across the city to open vaults that reward you with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and uncommon NFTs with more cryptos to come after the game e exits beta at the end of the May. Number 7. Crop Bites Crop Bites quickly gained popularity after its release in early 2018. Since then, the economics and gameplay experience has fine-tuned as the game has gone through a full market cycle. It had an advantage over other games because of this exposure, especially since the players may continuously build their crypto holdings despite market volatility. CropBytes aspires to build a virtual environment in which everyone may own, trade, and own assets. Its staff works tirelessly to create agriculture, business, and strategy games in a crypto-based environment. Meanwhile, users have devised sophisticated techniques and are planning to maximize the return on their investment. Many crypto games are currently battling it out with regular titles on smartphones and consoles. CryptoBytes, on the other hand, was created by using the Unity game engine. The latter is a popular platform for creating games with support for iOS, Android, and the web. Number 6. Project Seed Project Seed was launched to put an end to the worldwide age to play to win MMORPGs. Project Seed aims to do this by utilizing NFT technology to assure complete fairness and transparency in the games. All in-game assets such as weapons, armor, and abilities will be encrypted with NFT. To put it another way, nobody can scam the system. Not even the publisher can favor anyone. When completing missions, slaying monsters, or leveling up in Project Seed RPG, for example, players will get shill tokens, Seed's native token, as a tokenized form of experience. To avoid cheating, all goods in the game are minted as NFTs. Any player with a large quantity of these NFTs can sell or rent them directly on the Project Seed NFT marketplace. After acquiring a large amount of experience or shills, users can save shill coins as a long-term investment or exchange them for USDT. Number 5. Crypto Fights Crypto Fights is a turn-based fighting game in which players select, create, and use a wide variety of talents to harm their opponents. Your ability to strike strongly with amazing weapons, as well as your skill to conceal, evade, throw spells, and more, all play a role. Players and spectators can wager on the results of fights, increasing the value of a winning character over time. Game items are registered on the Bitcoin blockchain and may be exchanged on the Chromeverse marketplace. 
Furthermore, the blockchain records all previous fight movements and outcomes, allowing for increased transparency, replays of previous fights, and a thorough analysis of each battle. Number 4. Grasshopper Farm Grasshopper Farm, a text-based telegram game inspired by the engine community, is one such effort. The game operates on your preferred messaging app, that's correct. You may acquire quirky blockchain-based grasshoppers, send them out on missions, and combat your opponents by engaging with a telegram bot. The Hoppers universe demonstrates that you don't need AAA visuals or a rich novel-length narrative to have a devoted following. This isn't a game about aesthetic flair, because the graphics are restricted to whimsically altered grasshopper pictures wearing accessories that correspond to their duties. It's a game about enjoyment, and there's plenty of that on the farm. You'll need to hire more hoppers, construct and improve your structures, and combat opponents to expand your farm and climb the leaderboards. You may send hoppers on missions to gain prizes and advance your farm faster, and you may even form swarms with other farmers to perform collective tasks. Number 3. Ethermon Ethermon Platform is an online simulation game environment where Ethermon seekers may capture. Ethermons and their owners can raise and command. Ethermons can develop into stronger Ethermons as they grow, change, procreate, and gain experience. Catch new Ethermons to add to your collection, go on adventures with them, participate in battles with them, or exchange them. Ethermon is based on the Ethereum network and includes smart contract functionality, allowing for direct and decentralized transactions while avoiding the trust concerns that affect centralized systems. Ethermon have a finite supply, and it'll only be a matter of time before a whole generation is no longer catchable. Be one of the lucky ones to see them all. Number 2. Medieval City States Medieval City States is a mobile, tablet, smartphone, and desktop computer-based empire-building MMO presently under development. On the surface, CSM appears to be comparable to many other games, yet it differs in several ways. It offers a full 3D experience in a low-poly approach for the visuals. Every structure and icon has been hand-painted with meticulous attention to detail. On the Stellar Network, game resources are also provided as real-world assets. Instead of using the engine or making up pricing, players trade resources with one another on a global exchange. The opportunity for players to make money while playing the game is probably the most intriguing aspect of their gaming designs. Changing the production of your city-state through collecting, manufacturing high-demand materials, or just selling wisely might result in a profit on the market. Number 1. My Crypto Heroes my Crypto Heroes is a real-time strategy war game based on the Ethereum blockchain. Play as historical-inspired heroes, embark on missions to discover rare items, and battle for prizes and renown with other people. Send your heroes into dungeons to earn ex experience points and obtain uncommon artifacts known as Original Extensions or ERC721 tokens. Compete against other players in events that are customized to different player strengths. Original Extensions, or ERC721, and Perpetual Renown are awarded to the best players. New heroes enter the game through a sale auction in My Crypto Heroes. Each hero auction begins with a beginning price that is half of the previous auction's closing price for the same rarity hero that was sold. Tap the like button below the video to show your support, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Keep watching the channel for more interesting videos on crypto markets and trends. Cheers and good luck to you. Stay tuned for more.